suicide. That's us. Let's go. Start packing. You'll search every room in the joint. I wonder who took them all. I don't know, but if I get my hands on that stool pigeon, it'll be just too bad. You're a barging through here. You're disturbing my guests. Yeah? Well, one of them's pretty disturbed right now. She's about to jump off the roof. What? Gentlemen, please. What is the matter? Nothing. Not a thing. The fire department's here. The police department is here. The reporters are here. And if we don't hurry up, the undertaker will be here. Now, folks, I assure you that everything will be taken care of. It's only a dummy. Shh. He's crazy. Quiet. I know how to handle these guys. <laughs> Hello. Are you having a good time? I got to keep doing this till I attract a crowd around this hotel. Oh, I see. Well, look. Let me do it for a while. I want to have some fun, too. No, sir. We got this all figured out. Oh, you have, huh? Well, who's we? Uh, me and Mr. Buzzy O'Brien. Buzzy O'Brien, huh? Well, now, ain't that nice. Tell me some more about it. Well, you see, Mr. Buzzer, he got this dummy from the style show over there in the Peacock Room, and he told me to walk up and down there while he hide under the bed. Under what bed? Over there in the robber's room. What room could that be? I don't know, sir. He said he was going to hide over there till the police come. Then the robbers would try to get the stuff. Then he'd catch them. I'll handle this. Come back later. I'm busy now. Boy. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Come on, come on. Get out of there. Lots of kids brought us cracked ice last night. Yeah? What's the idea? The idea is you can't get away with it. No? No. You stole those bonds from the Lincoln Trust Company, and you're not going to leave. Ain't Mr. Buzzer smart? Oh, he's not only smart, he's brilliant. Now, everything will be perfect if I could only get my hands on Buzzy O'Brien. Search the joint. Jefferson, take that dummy back where it belongs. Okie dokie, sir. Pick up those bags. You're going to take us right through the lobby, and then we're going to take you out into the country for a nice little sightseeing tour. Get going. Come on. The more you tell me, the less I know. I just want to get my hands on that Buzzy O'Brien. Uh, 
All right, let's go. Buzzy O'Brien! Keep walking, keep walking. Come here! I'm awfully sorry to inconvenience you guys, but... Take that gun out of the pocket and then take him downtown and book him. Take him, Hey, well, right. tell me, what happened, will you? Well, I was up in the room with these two guys. There's a little business I want to talk over with you. Come yeah, on. You, you can't do that to the you can't. What are you... And now, gentlemen, if you'll just be seated, we'll get to the bottom of this. Come on, Buzzy, let's have it. Well, the way I see it, Steve, it's, it's strictly a case of elemental deduction. Stop playing Sherlock Holmes and tell us what happened. Well, I keep a file on all the guys that are wanted by the police. You know, kind of a personal rogues gallery. So then I read about the Lincoln Trust robbery, and being a trained observer with a photographic eye, I spotted Banning hiding behind a beard. So then I staged the phony suicide, see? And I figured when Banning and these men heard the police sirens, they'd go for the bonds, which they did. Now, in the meantime... In the meantime, you've turned the city upside down, caused a near riot, the taxpayers get stuck for a fake alarm. Yeah, but... But Steve... nothing. The last time you played detective, I told you to bring your brainwaves to headquarters. What for, Steve? Nobody pays any attention to me. Well, gosh, I told Fluger all he did was laugh at me. How about that, Fluger? The hotel's had a couple of lawsuits already through making mistakes about guests. So I... Did nothing, as usual. And as for you... You're liable to five different charges for the trouble you caused. I don't know how the hotel feels about it, but I'd certainly... The hotel is firing him. We but... should have done it long ago if you asked me. No, take it easy. I didn't mean that. After all, he did catch those two crooks. And maybe he got enough of a scare to stop him from playing detective. Oh, I did, Steve. Honest. When Banning put that gun on my back, I thought sure I was a goner. Never again, Steve. Well, if you really mean that... Oh, I do. You can stay. On probation. Now report back to your station. Yes, sir. Thanks a lot, Steve. Never mind the thanks. And if you start gun shooting around this hotel again, I won't wait for the manager to fire you. I'll come right up here and drag you right out by the ears. You won't have to. Honest, I'm through. I'll get back to work. You'll be heading south from now on, Mr. Colby. Well, let's hope so. Thanks for coming through the way you did, Steve. Forget it, kid. I mean about my job. All right, all right, but you're lucky. What I said in there still goes, you understand? Oh, sure, I'm through. Well, you heard me promise, Steve. Well, let me see you stick to it. If you don't like hopping bells, try and find yourself another job. I quit playing detective. It'll never get you any place. Look at your old man. Where'd to get him? A couple of bullets in the back. Yeah, but don't you see, Steve? Oh, all right, beat it. I got some work to do. Nice going, Fluga. Kid turns in a couple of mugs you should have handled between naps and you try to get his job. I forgot you were a friend of the kid's family. You and his old man were on the force together. So what? Will there be anything else, miss? Could you find out if there's a Mr. Thaddeus Porter registered at the hotel? Thaddeus Porter? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Desk, please. Do we have a Thaddeus Porter registered here? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Is he here? Yes, ma'am. He's in suite 8B. That's just down the hall around the corner. Would you like to have me call him? No. No. Will uh, there be anything else, miss? No, thank you. You've been very nice. Thank you very much. And if there's any little thing you want, you know, something special, like, just call on me, will you? Number 7. Thanks. Yes, ma'am. This isn't some more detecting, is it? Oh, no, no. But uh, this Monaghan girl seemed to think they ought to know something about Mr. Porter. What is he, uh, some kind of a big shot or something? No, he registered last evening from Ashport, took a suite, and rates A1. Mm-hmm. Well, thanks very much, Mr. Mays. Well, how's your friend in 415 getting along? 
415. Hey, I got it! Got what? Well, she looks just like the fellow that... Oh, a telegram for Thaddeus Porter. Just talking about him. Mr. Mays, do me a favor, will you? Let me take that telegram up. Okay, but get it to him in a hurry. Porter's kind of important. Small town banker. You'll probably get a big tip. What, from a banker? <laughs> if I do, I'll split it with you. I'm awfully sorry, sir. Lumsy idiot. Why don't you look where you're going? Yeah, but I was just going. Get out of my way. Well, this gentleman here told me to come back at 12.30. I knocked on the door and don't nobody answer. Well, maybe he went out and just left his door open. Oh, no, it didn't. I seen a lady come out there just as I was coming down the hall. It's Mr. Porter. He's dead. Oh, no, you don't. Now, come here. We found this thing together. You can't walk out of me. I'm in enough trouble. I need a witness. Oh, Mr. Buzz, I don't like no dead folk, and I don't want to be no witness. Can I go home now? Wait a minute. Look, what's the matter with you? You, you have no reason to be scared. You said you saw a girl leave this room. What'd she look like? I don't know what she looked like, but she had on a striped dress. A striped dress? Are you sure? Yeah, she left out that door in a hurry. Striped dress? Which way'd she go? She went down that way. Now, Mr. Buzzy, I'm through. Can I go now? I don't belong up here. I belong down in the basement. Are you sure she didn't use the service stairway? Yes, sir, she didn't. Well, somebody did. I saw the door closing as I was coming up the hall. Now, look, I'm going to search the bedroom. You stay right here. Don't move. I gotta call a desk. <coughs> Hello, this is Buzzy O'Brien in Suite 8B. Mr. Porter's just been murdered. Yes, yes, that's right. Yeah, Jefferson and I found the body. All right, hurry, will you please? Now see, Jefferson, I, I told you there was nothing to worry about. They're coming up here right away. Be right back. Uh, Mr. Buzzard, wait a minute, don't leave me here, Mr. Buzzard. Oh, Mr. Buzzard, please, now you know this man is dead. You ought not to leave me here like this. Who is it? Me, Buzzy O'Brien, number seven. I gotta have that dress, quick. What do you mean? You were seen coming out of Porter's room. But uh, I wasn't even in his Quit room. stalling, the janitor saw you. Now look, he doesn't know what you look like, but he knows that you had a striped dress on. Now please, hurry up, please. All right. As soon as you slip into something else, scoot downstairs and wait in the far end of the lobby until you hear from me. Yeah, but what'll I do with the dress? Uh, hurry up. Throw it out here to me. Please, hurry. Oh, Mr. Buzzard. Come back here, Mr. Buzzard. Now, that's a shame. You are not... Oh, Mr. Buzzard. You are not to leave me here like this. Now, that's a shame, Mr. Buzzard. Oh. Hand it out to me. Hurry up. 
But why are you getting mixed up in all this? No, I don't know. Because your name's Monahan or something, I guess. Come on, hurry, please. Hey, I almost forgot to ask you. You didn't kill Porter, did you? No, honestly, I didn't. All right, but please do as I tell you and get down in that lobby. I gotta ditch this dress. Mr. Potter, you and me have been friends a long time. Mr. Potter, please. Mr. Potter. Uh, Mr. Buzzer, why did you leave me here alone? Why did you leave me here alone, Mr. Where is everybody? Haven't they shown up yet? No, sir. I better call a desk again. Hello, why all the delay? I can't understand where they are. Hello, this is Sweet 8B. You better get a hold of Steve Lanahan right away. There's a corpus delecti up here. Yes, yes, you know, a body. Of course, this is Buzzy O'Brien. Hurry up, will you please? Right. You shouldn't parade through the lobby, Lanahan, and you get the hotel in the newspapers. Where's the body? What body? man named Porter, Thaddeus Porter. Well, he's up in 8B, but he's fine. Say, who told you there was anything wrong? Was he O'Brien? Hello, Steve. Have you seen the Herald? Yeah. That chief showed that to me ten times. Well, is that O'Brien kid pull another one? No. Just a routine visit. Well, in that case, I'll string along. Scram! Hey, hey, wait a minute, will you? That's a fine way to treat the press. I'll take care of you, big boy. Buzzy, if you're holding out on me, I'm But gonna... I'm not, Steve. It happened just like I said. I was walking down the hall. Jefferson was knocking on the door, and the door opened. Well, so we walked in, and there was Porter laying on the floor, stabbed. Here's the knife right here. Oh, there's the knife, is it? I tell you... Well, now, wait, don't get excited, Steve. I picked up the lethal weapon with a napkin. You picked up the lethal weapon with a napkin. What are you going to say? What are you doing up here anyway, O'Brien? You keep quiet. I'll handle this. Yeah, what were you doing? Well, I was delivering a telegram to Porter. Where is it? Right here. I want the name of every woman whose initials are KM that registered in this hotel in the last 24 hours. Give me the name of every woman registered in the hotel in the last 24 hours. The initials KM. Or maybe that was that lady I seen with that striped dress on. What lady with what striped dress? Uh, the lady that run out of here just before I got up here. Do you know anything about this, Buzzy? Uh, me? Uh, yeah, Steve, sure. I was going to tell you, but you didn't give me a Here's chance. the information. There are three women in the hotel with the initials KM. Catherine Meadows, registered from Redlands, 212. Kate Madison from Chicago and 511. And Kitty Monahan from Ashport. From Ashport? Yeah, she's right around the corner, 812. Jenkins, get her over here. This is a terrible thing. Mr. Porter was quite important. Yeah? Why? He was vice president of the Ashport Bank. A very fine man, too, Lanahan. I knew him personally. That's a big help. Oh, you again. You can't do this to the press now. You are... 812 is empty. Looks like somebody left in a hurry. Any clothes in there? Yeah. Hey, Steve, I got an idea. I checked her in. I know what she looks like. Maybe I can help you find her, huh? Okay, Buzzy. But if you double-cross me this time, there's a nice little gray suit and a short haircut waiting for you. Now get out of here. Okay, Steve, sure. Uh, me too? Yeah, but oh. don't leave the hotel. Oh, good, don't get Mr. Steve. All right, boys. Pictures, prints, and when you get them all finished, send them right down to me. Come on, Kluger. Message for you, miss. His name is Porter. Thaddeus Porter. A knife in his bag. Pictures? Sure. <laughs> Send a man up right away. And don't forget the name of the hotel. 
You shouldn't push reporters in the face, Fluga. You're liable to get the hotel and the paper. Jefferson? Sir? Is this where Buzzy hangs out? Uh, yes, sir. What's this all about? Uh, Mr. Buzzer calls it his private criminal laboratory. Private criminal laboratory. Why did Mr. Porter call you to 8B? Come on, answer me. Uh, to pick up a trunk. Uh, look, Mr. Steve, I ain't done nothing. Why do y'all keep on picking on me? You got me so mixed up, I don't know what I'm doing. I know what you'll be doing if you don't tell me the truth. You said Buzzy locked in, huh? Yes, sir. Why'd he lock in? To be sure that I would stay until y'all got there. How long were you in there? I don't know, sir. It seemed to me like it was a long time. Long enough for Buzzy to be doing something. What was Buzzy doing? Uh, he was at the phone, phone at the desk. He called twice before y'all got up there. Is that right, Fluger? I don't think so, but we can check on it. Relax. Buzzy, you want on the phone. What's the idea of having personal calls on duty? Well, it, it must be very important. Hello. Hello. Buzzy O'Brien? Oh, yeah. Hello, Mom. What? Oh, gee, that's too bad, Mom. Sure, you bet I will. All right, dear. I'm afraid I'll have to go, Mr. Mays. My mother's very sick. How many calls did you get from Sweet 8B just before you called me? Only one. I thought so. Are you sure? Positive. Have you seen Buzzy O'Brien? No, but he just took a call on the desk phone. Thanks. Where's Buzzy? Gone home. Didn't he just get a phone call? Yes, from his mother. She's sick. Oh. Leaving us, Lanahan? Yeah. In the meantime, try not to gum things up, will you? I'm in a terrible jam. I can't explain now, but I think Steve Lanahan's on his way up here after me. Mom, you'll help me, will you? You, you won't let me down. Steve Lanahan, is it? Well, if there's anything wrong, it's your fault. No, no, Mom. It, it just looks bad. But I haven't got time to explain to Steve now. I have to do some more investigative research. Investigative research, is it? Now, look here, Buzzy O'Brien. You tell me what this is all about, or I'll turn you over to Steve Lanahan. Later, Mom. Later. No, here and now. And what's the trouble, and who is that girl? I'll bet that's Steve now. Mom, you got to talk to him. Help me, will you, Mom? Please help me. I knew he'd find out that phone call from the desk was phony. I'll not budge until I hear all about it. Mom, Mom, now please don't let me down. Talk to him, will you, Mom? Get rid of me. He'll put me in jail, Mom. Jail? Yeah, please, Mom. Talk to him. Tell him anything. You, you don't want me to go to jail, do you? Please, oh, Mom, talk to Rosie. him. Rosie. Jail. Oh. Oh, hello, Steve. Hello, Mrs. O'Brien. Sit down, I'll get you a nice cup of tea. I don't want tea, I want Buzzy. Buzzy? Yeah. I'm sure, this is a strange place to be looking for him at this time of day. He's not at the hotel. Oh. Detecting again, eh? Yeah, he's really put his foot in it this time. Bad? Murder. Murder? Oh, Steve, you don't mean that, that Buzzy's killed no, somebody? No, I don't think so, only this time it's serious. Oh. I thought you were sick. Sick? Oh, well, I, I ain't feeling so good. Oh, Steve, Buzzy's not a bad guy. I know, He's I only... Know. His old man took pretty good care of me when I was a rookie cop. That's why I want to protect Buzzy. But I can't do anything, Mrs. O'Brien, if he don't stop snooping around. Well, I'll see that he stops it, Steve. Well, if you don't, some one of these days, one of those cheap crooks will be shooting him. Oh. But when you hear from him, 
You send them back to the hotel. I'll be waiting for them. All right, Steve. Thanks. Buzzy O'Brien, come out of there. Oh, gee, Mom, you were swell. Steve didn't even know that... Hold I... your tongue. Now, what's the matter? Who is this girl? Well, she's the girl I've been helping. Oh, it's the girl you've been helping, eh? And your poor old mother telling a lie to Steve Lanahan. Why, you ought to be... But her name is Kitty Monahan. I don't care what her name... What did you say her name was? Uh, this is Kitty Monahan. This is my mother. Kitty Monahan. Why, you poor darling, you. Come right over here and sit down now. There you are. Now take your hat off. Sure, you must be in trouble. You're bound to be if you're with Buzzy. She's the one Steve's really after. He thinks she did it. The murder? With a name like Monaghan? Well, then she must have had some good reason. But I didn't do it. Yeah, we know that. But you'll have to admit you've got a lot of explaining to do. Of course. It'll be a relief to talk. There, there, now take your time. Uh, Buzzy, you go bring in the tea. Bring in the tea? Mom, I've got to continue my investigation. You handle the tea, and I'll handle the investigation. Oh, get a case all built up, and then you have to go after tea. Now, let's have it. My brother Jim worked in Mr. Porter's bank. Jim's books were $100,000 short. What in the world did he do with all that money? It wasn't money, it was bonds. And he didn't take it. He just must have lost his head and run away. That's why I came to see Mr. Porter. He always liked Jim. I thought maybe he could help me find him and straighten things out. What happened when you were in Porter's room? Well, Mr. Porter let me in. But before I had a chance to talk to him, there was a knock at the door. So he pushed me into the bedroom and shut the connecting door. Did you see who came into the room? No. No, but I listened at the door. There were two men, I think. I could hear the voices, but I... I couldn't hear what they said, even when they began arguing. Oh, they argued, eh? Well, did either of the voices sound like anyone you know? No. They just went on arguing. And then... And then I heard a groan and a thumping sound. And right after that, the door slammed. Look. Could one of these fellows been your brother? No, I'd know his voice. You know something about Jim. Where is he? He's registered at the Royal. But... But he's under the name of Elliot. Room 415. Elliot, are you sure? Well, he looks enough like you to be your brother, and he's got a blue cigarette case with J.M. on it. Why should he go to the same hotel as Mr. Porter and not use his own name? There, there, now. That's enough of that. I look after Kitty. Now, you run along, Buzzy, and find Steve and tell him I sent you. I'd better go, too. No, you stay right here and rest. Come along now, Buzzy. Go on. Thanks, Mom. I knew you'd come through for me. Goodbye, dear. And remember that Steve's waiting for you. Come along now, darling. Sit down. We'll have our tea in peace. Find anything yet, Mike? No, nothing here. Lanahan. Is that the dress she wore? Come on, come on. You said you saw a girl in a striped dress come in out of Porter's room? Yes, I did. Well, is that the dress she wore? Yes, sir. Of course it is. Buzzy and the girl ditched it in the linen chute. I thought I'd find it there. Stumbled on it, you mean? All right, stumble on it. Just like you better stumble on Buzzy and that girl. Don't worry, I'll have them. You hope. Did you see anybody else? No, sir. I didn't. What do you mean, you didn't? Now, look here, Jefferson, old boy. This dress kind of proves your story. Though anybody could have put it in the linen chute. But you're not out of the woods yet by a long shot. You were with Buzzy when the body was found. And if you don't tell me everything you know, I'm going to tear you limb from limb. Uh, don't do that, Mr. Steve. I'm on your side. All right, then. Let's have it. Uh, Mr. Buzzer said that he saw the service door close when he was coming down the hall. Service door, huh? Hey, are, Mike. I'll get Jenkins. We'll check on that service door. Where are you going? Uh, I got to catch Mr. Steve. I forgot something. Yeah? I forgot to tell him about the claim check that Mr. Buzzer found. What? Uh, Mr. Buzzer bumped into a man at the elevator and blood his nose. That's the man that dropped that claim check. What's that got to do with it? I don't know, sir. Only Mr. Steve told me to tell everything I know. And I don't want him backtracking on me and found out that I missed something. Well, have you told everything? Everything except the claim check. Okay, I'll take care of that. Oh, me.
could be. I'll follow it. Give the girls' room another look. Give it the works. Whew. I wonder did I forget anything? Dresses, telephone calls, claim checks, man on the elevator, service door. Mr. Buzzer such in that dead man's room. Mm -mm. Mr. Buzzer, where is you been? Have you seen Lanahan? Seen him? I can't lose him. Where is he now? Uh, he went up to check on that service door, but he'll be back. I told him about that claim check, and they found that dress. Kitties? The woman that I saw coming out of that room, and Mr. Steve will be very happy to see you. Hey, I want to talk to him too, but first I got to see the fellow in 415. Oh, uh, what you want to see him for? What does he got to do with it? He's the girl's brother. If I'm right, this is one of the biggest frame-ups ever engineered. What you gonna do about the monkeys your mom gave you? Oh, Jefferson, what do you have to bring that up for now? Can't you see I'm just one step from finding out who the murderer is? Yeah, and you got your other foot on the banana peel. Whoever did it could have beat it down that service stairway, all right. But I still think Buzzy's trying to protect that girl. He's the only one who saw the door closing, and we know she's mixed up in it. Fluger found the dress. How did you miss it? Well, I don't know, Steve. I guess he knows more about hotels than I do. Idea. Well, you almost drowned. Looks like somebody tried to put you out of the way. That's uh, too bad they missed. Here, put this around you. Come on, I want to have a talk with you. Now, come here. Look, look, do me a favor. Yeah, uh, sure, sure, Buzzy. Anything for a pal. Your real name is Monahan, isn't it? Jim Monahan? Of course it is. Don't you like it? Sure, I like it. I think it's swell. But tell me, what'd you change it to Elliot for? Uh, take it easy. That's a secret. Mr. Porter told me to. Oh, Mr. Porter told you, huh? Why, Jim? Why? Well, the books got all mixed up. He told me to run away while, while he investigated. Well, did you know that Porter was coming to this hotel? Porter's an ashport. Yeah, that's what you think. Yeah. What are you doing here? Are you crazy? You want to be arrested? Lanahan's looking all over the hotel for you. I don't care. I had to take care of my brother. How'd you get away from Mom? I climbed out the bedroom window. Jim, Jim, what's happened to you? Oh, somebody give him some knockout drops and put him in the bathtub. They tried to drown him. Look, now please don't faint or anything. But there's a dead guy laying back there. Dead?
Jim. Did you know him? Yeah. yeah I've been drinking with him all afternoon. Then what happened? I don't know. I, I fell asleep. The next thing I knew, you were pulling me out of the bathtub. Buzzy, they'll never believe him. You're darn right we won't believe him. You and your brother are under arrest. Luger, don't be a fool. Buzzy, stay out of this. My brother didn't kill that man. Somebody tried to kill him. He was nearly drowned. That's enough. You've got plenty of explaining to do yourself. Unless I'm mistaken, you're the girl that was seen coming out of Porter's room three seconds after he was murdered. Don't be a chump, Fluger. Look down there. Ah, looks like we all thought of the same thing. What are you doing here, Fluger? Who's he? I don't know. He's the Monaghan girl and her brother. Maybe they know. Jim didn't have anything. They don't know anything. I ain't. Look, Steve, I got it all figured out. It's strictly a case of elemental deduction. Now, wait a minute, Fuzzy. I gave you every chance in the world. You know I wanted to see you, yet you came sneaking back here without reporting to me. Yeah, but Steve, I had to... I'm supposed to warn you that whatever you say can be used against you. Now, go ahead. Please, but... it was all my fault. I... Same thing goes for you, too. Look, Steve, Jefferson told you about the claim check I had from the Union Station. Well, this is the guy that dropped it. I came back here, and when I came through the door, well, somebody hit me on the head. When I came to, the claim check was gone. Is that all? Yeah, Steve, honest, that's all. Lock him up. Hey, wait a minute, Steve, you can't do that to me. All right, buddy, get your clothes on. How do you like that? You better get the coroner down here and then tell Jenkins I'll meet him at headquarters. I never thought Steve Lanahan would do a thing like this to me. He's making a jailbird out of me. You know, do you know, Kitty, that when, when he said you're under arrest, I almost fainted. I didn't know what to do. I just stood there. Hey, Mike, take her. Where's Steve? He said he'd meet you at headquarters. What happened? Well, the Monaghan girl pulled a faint and Buzzy disappeared. Where are the Monaghans? Mike's got them. Did you see Buzzy? Uh, yes, sir. He was here right after Mr. Steve left. I told no, him. No, no, I mean the last few minutes. He just got away from me on the fourth floor. No, sir, I ain't seen him. Well, no. why didn't you say so? I ain't seen him, and I ain't gonna see him. Hey, Jefferson. This to me. Big business. Got your pass key? Well, what about the monkeys? Never mind the monkeys. I gotta get in the room. You keep this up. We'll both be in the room. With bars on. Come I'm on. Not that Mr. Buzzer, you are so smart. I know you can do this much better without me. I see you. No, you don't. Come here. Now, look. This is the way I've got it figured out. Porter steals $100,000 from Elliot. Makes him register in this hotel under an assumed name so he can keep his eye on the bonds. Bonds? Does that mean anything to you, Jefferson? Yes, sir, it sure do. That's just what we're gonna need to get us out of jail if you is wrong. But I can't be wrong. Do you remember those crooks we caught? You know, when you had the dummy up on the roof? Yes. Somebody in this hotel is a go-between for the hot bond racket. And we're gonna find the evidence right here in this room. Now look, you get to work in the bathroom. Search it. Tear it apart if you have to. Uh, do you really mean tear it apart? Yes, go on. Okay, dokie, Mr. Buzzy. I'll tear it apart. But my heart ain't in it. No, sir. My heart sure ain't in it. Jefferson, look in the medicine cabinet. Look in the clothes hamper. Yeah, look down the drain, too. Look every place. Oh, my goodness. Here we go again. Nookies and all. Party? That's something. I've never heard of such before. Now I got to go all over this place, yeah. Hey, 
ain't nothing in here but soaps and towels and things like that. That's a shame. You ought not to get... Hey, Mr. Buzzy, let's get out of here. Not until I'm finished. Oh, Mr. Buzzy, this ain't no place for me. I'm a family man. Am I glad to see you? It looks like somebody broke in your room. I tried to catch him, but I got here too late. You know, I thought you might be next on the murder list, so... Well, I hurried down here so I could help you. Quit stalling. Where is it? Where's what? Never mind the baby stare. The briefcase. Come on, where is it? Under the bed. Buzzy, you're a very smart boy. A little too smart for your own good. West, 632. Joe, how soon can you be at the back entrance? Yeah, a little change in plans. Fifteen minutes? Right. All right, wise guy, sit down. That means you got 14 minutes. How does it feel? Not so good. You thought you were pretty smart when you sent Jefferson and that dummy up on the roof. Brought the cops in on the boys. Yeah, yeah, I did, did I? Thought that was a pretty good idea, didn't you? I sure wish Jefferson was up on that roof right now. I could use a few cops. They wouldn't do you any good. <laughs> good old Jeff. If he could only hear me. You know where he'd be? He'd climb right out there on that ledge and, well, he'd take his handkerchief and he'd flag those cops right up here. That's what he'd do. Go on, sing. In another ten minutes, you'll be through. And I'll be on my way with the Vaughns. <laughs> good old Jeff. You're not fooling me for a minute, Fluger. You've been using this hotel as a clearing house for your hot buns, haven't you? Yeah, you've been letting your crooks hide out here, too. But you've been getting your cut. But this time, you just decided you want to take it all. So then you kill that porter guy and try to blame it on the poor Monaghan girl. You're doing all right. But talk fast. You only got four minutes. Then you kill a claim check guy. You hit me on the head and you try to drown Elliot. But you made one mistake, Fluger. Just one. simple case of elemental deduction. When you walked into Elliot's room, you said to Kitty, you and your brother are under arrest. Well, if you weren't in on this whole rotten mess, how did you know that he was her brother? 
Oh, you did, did you? When are you going to stop leaving with your chin? You got yourself into a fine jam this time. Yeah, I guess I did, but I'm sure glad you got here, Steve. You're lucky. Fluger, Fuzzy and I had the same idea, and I followed through on that claim check. Where you made your big mistake was in picking up this briefcase yourself. Well, is the party over? It is for you. Put the bracelets on him, Jenkins. What's his name, Steve? Fluger. No, no, I mean the guy that's going to commit suicide out on the ledge. Jefferson! What are you doing out there, Jefferson? Oh, Mr. Steve, I'm so sure glad you're here. Come on in here. Yeah. I'll never do this no more. Oh, thanks, Jefferson. You saved my life. You two guys think you're heroes, don't you? Well, you're not as far as I'm concerned. Well, no, we don't. Only we have just got a break. Now, this is the last time I'm warning you. Quit playing detective. All right, Steve. And that goes for you, too, Jefferson. Yes, sir. And remember, Jefferson. Stay downstairs. And stay away from Fuzzy. Yes, sir. All right, then. Everybody back to work. I'll follow you down in my car. Right. Thanks for everything, Mr. Lanahan. Forget it. Let's rehearse that uh, big scene in the second act. You know, the one where I kill you. We'll uh, start with the... Uh, you know, Harold... You know, Harold, it's you I love. From now on, I see nothing, speak nothing, and hear nothing. Woman, your time has come. For years, I wanted to take that lily white throat in my hands, and now... Don't no. stop! You're killing me! Don't! Give me your basket, quick. Mm, Mr. Buzzard, now don't forget the monkeys. 